All right, welcome back everybody to another edition of Dollar Bin Digging Finds. This is the Dollar Bin article that I do over on comicbookinvest.com where I'm sharing those books that I actually pulled out of those cheap bins myself. So these are just random things in some cases, uh, some things that I'm kind of speculating on, things I just can't leave behind, things I just like, things I want to read. Uh, sometimes it's just great art, things that just catch my eye or just really oddball things as well because I like those oddities uh, myself personally. So hopefully you like what I'm doing here. So please like, subscribe, hit that alert button so you don't miss any of the content that I'm producing here on my channel. And do yourself a favor and go over to my YouTube channel, Renovision, and check out the details on my very first giveaway where I'm giving away copies of High Republic 4, those comic book exclusive variants that are, have been sold out. They sold out within minutes. So if you weren't able to buy them, this is your chance to get yourself a set for doing very, very little. Hit up, hit up my channel to get those details and uh, hopefully maybe win yourself you know, some free books. So with that said, just hang on for a second. We'll be right back with the dollar books that I want to talk about today. All right, so let's get right into those books then. Uh, this week, I got some weird random stuff for you from my uh, dollar bin finds. Uh, I'm going to start off with the first appearances. I know people love first appearances, so we're going to start off with the first appearances. I got a nice little stack here of just some stuff that, you know, I just, a lot of it's stuff I grab every time I see it. So these aren't new books. I may have talked about them before. You may be getting bored of hearing about them, but what can I tell you? This is the stuff that I buy. First being... I haven't found one of these in a while, so I was happy to find one again. Fantastic Four, 15. This is first Valeria Richards. I really like this book. I think we will eventually get her in the MCU once they introduce that Fantastic Four family, because I think they're just going to jump right into it. I don't think they're going to take their time with the kids. I think they're going to bring them right in uh, very early into this process. So Valeria is a great character and one that I've been picking up for ages now. So if you find, you know, you see it out there, make sure you grab it. It's definitely worth a grab. Uh, also, first Amanda Waller here in Legends, number one. I know. It, it's an oldie. It, it's been spec on before. We had Suicide Squad has come and gone, and we got another Suicide Squad coming. I still like Amanda Waller as a character, and, you know, again, for a dollar, I'm not leaving her first appearance behind. Laugh all you want. I've said it before. I like Prime. So I find Prime out there. I grab it for a buck. I don't know why. I just do. I'm still looking for a newsstand, though. Hopefully, I'm hoping to find a newsstand of this Prime one one of these days in those dollar bins. But I'll still grab the regular if it's nice. I'm not going to grab any beater copy for a Prime. But I, I grab the nice ones because, again, I still like it. It's a good read. Uh, another interesting one. Actually, I think this got this out of a quarter box. This uh, Gen Next number one. A lot of first appearances here. Uh, some mutants. Uh, I'm not to say we're going to see any of these characters, but you never know. So for a quarter or a dollar or whatever, you know, those cheap boxes, just take a chance. Again, a lot of first appearances in this book. So I figured it was worth, you know, grabbing for, again, I grabbed it for a quarter. Uh, this one may have lost a little bit of steam after everybody was all into WandaVision, but uh, this Scarlet Witch number four, I believe, uh, had that dark version of Wanda in their kind of her first full like uh, appearance in fighting you know, Wanda in that issue. Yeah, for a cheap, I'm grabbing it. 90s favorite, New Warriors 1. I'll still get them for a buck. I'm grabbing a New Warriors 1. I know there was supposed to be that, uh, weren't they going to, I think they were going to do an ABC family or a freeform show, and I don't think it ever materialized, but uh, hey, who knows? It's still an interesting team of characters. Maybe something we see down the line, maybe not. Who knows? Still, 90s goodness for a buck. I'm picking it up. Now, I know you probably also see a bunch of Savage Dragons out there in those cheap boxes. I still like Savage Dragon. I still randomly get it. It's an odd book. It's just one of those habit-forming kind of pickups. But issue 12, which is kind of early in the run, but still, this is for She-Dragon. So it's one, you know, keep an eye out for. It, you know, does a few bucks. There's some, you know, harder to find copies in there, some variant covers and things like that. But this is just a nice little first appearance, and and for a dollar, might as well grab it. Just like for Silencer, 
this is one of the few characters DC has created recently that I actually kind of like. So anytime I see a silencer one, I'm scooping it up. I've got a few of these on hand now. Uh, I can see them. This could make like a good HBO Max series or something. I think this could be something fun for them to do. This is just a good character and it's a you know, decent comic. So even for that, pick it up for a buck. But she's one of the few that has potential, I think, out of the new creations DC has had over the last few years. And that includes, yeah, Robbie Reyes, Blue Beetle. Uh, I know everybody loves the Jim Lee cover a bit more, but still, I'm grabbing either one if I find them in the box. And there's also a black and white version of this, which I think is the uh, second print of uh, this, so keep an eye out for that as well. Because Blue Beetle, there's still rumors. You know, we're getting something out of that. Who knows if it's ever going to materialize, but that's what they say. This was a fun grab. Uh, I actually wanted to talk about this last week, but I forgot. Uh, and if I still had it on hand, uh, West Coast Avengers. But this is the first appearance of the Great Lakes Avengers, which is just one of those quirky, oddball teams of, you know, not the best superpowers, but very enthusiastic characters. Uh, and eventually, you know, this ends up being Squirrel Girl's team. And everybody loves Squirrel Girl. So this West Coast Avengers 46 is, uh, you know, another one of those West Coast Avengers to keep an eye out for. Because there are a few that... Uh, it's kind of spiked thanks to these Disney Plus shows recently. And uh, while that's not the reason to put heat towards, you know, that issue, that's just a good issue to just find because Great Lakes Avengers. With all these uh, rumors that the Netflix characters may be coming to Disney Plus or the Marvel Universe, uh, MCU proper, uh, I start looking towards those street-level characters again. So Daredevil, this is a great run just to read, but there's not that many books within this run to kind of keep an eye out for. So... 58 is a number, I guess, to keep in mind when you're flipping through those boxes. That's worth the extra effort. And then my last dollar book, uh, first appearance, is uh, Deathstroke. This is 15. This is uh, first Rose Wilson. Ends up being, you know, Ravager. Again, for a dollar, grab it for cheap, right? Let's move on. What, what do I got next? My next category is going to be a very quick one. This is just, I'm generically just calling this Disney Plus picks. So this is just stuff related to Disney Plus that uh, I was grabbing for those very reasons. Example, Invincible Iron Man 8. This is just pretty much just a random Riri Williams Iron Man issue. But for a dollar, and it's not chewed up, I'm grabbing it. Because once her show or whatever they do hits, she's going to be a hit and... This is the kind of stuff that will become harder and harder to find, where regular issues all become worth $10, $15 all of a sudden for no apparent reason. And we don't know inside the stories of what they're going to focus on, what characters might appear from her run, et cetera, et cetera. So that's why I'm counting this in my Disney Plus pick, just this random issue eight of her series, just grabbing it. Been talking about uh, some of this stuff through on the Star Wars shows of the, what Obi-Wan might be doing on Disney+. Plus, The Obi-Wan show might be hitting up those uh, Obi-Wan journals, and those started in issue seven. Tons of copies of this, but I still grabbed it. And, and we'll still grab it for a dollar, because it's 25% of cover. So what, no, what's the harm in grabbing it for a dollar? Plus, it's a good story, and something they could be adapting, again, as part of the Obi-Wan you know, journals. So that's why I grabbed that issue, as well as issue 15, which is the next entry into the Obi-Wan journals in that Star Wars run. Just things to keep an eye out for cheap because you never know what's going to happen. So take a flyer. Well, you know, why not? Uh, the next two, again, loosely related to Disney Plus is this is the last issue of West Coast Avengers 102. And you got this nice little face off between John Walker and uh, Steve Rogers, Captain America. You know, it's nothing that we're going to see this exactly adapted into Disney Plus, but it's just related because, you know, of what we saw with U.S. Agent and uh, the wrap-up of Captain America and the Winter Soldier. And, again, last issues, always good to grab last issues, I think, because I think it shifted to Force Works after this. <clears throat> and this was just a lucky find. This book has been harder to find uh, for a little while now, but uh, Captain America 332 also, you know, kind of tied to those uh, Captain America Disney Plus show, but just a fantastic cover, and uh, just happy to just dig this out of a box for for a dollar. All right, so moving on, we're going to go on to our artist section. As you know, I like comic book art. I like comic book artists, and I will grab books just for that reason alone. And uh, these are the books that I did just because of that. 
Now, this could be considered, I grabbed this because there's a Harley Quinn cover appearance on this Batman Adventures 8, but I just like Bruce Timm, so I like this Bruce Timm cover, so I grab it for that reason. It's a little beat up, but for a dollar, I figured, why not just grab it anyway? Poison Ivy, Robin, why not scoop it up? And as you can, oh, I'm, like I said, as you can kind of see there, in silhouette, Harley is uh, on the cover as well. So it is an early, earlier, I guess you would say, early cover appearance. Now, the next group of books is a DC comic called The Web, which really has no interest, I think, to much of anyone. But I just noticed that these were all Art Germ covers, so I figured I like Art Germ, so I was grabbing them. So I'm just going to run through them real fast. There was no issue one. I'll have to find that somewhere else. But just pretty cool Art Germ, you know? So The Web, issue two. Three. I'll try to go through a little quicker. Four, you got that kind of cool. Five. I'm just going to do this a little quicker. And we got six, seven. I think there's eight. What I, or nine. Ah, one might have been missing in there as well. Might have been eight or nine. And then issue 10 was the last one that they had. So that's the last one that I grabbed. I figured, why not? And then I always seem to end up finding like Jim Lee covers that I'm not sure if I have yet or not. So I grabbed this uh, Command D Challenge. I don't know if you remember this series, which is actually a pretty interesting read. Uh, it's where the creators basically did one-offs and uh, told a story and then left it on a cliffhanger for the next creative team to kind of pick up the story and tell whatever story they wanted to and then leave the next uh, you know team to do the same. Very fun idea. Very interesting you know, execution as well. But on this one, again, as you can see, Jim Lee had worked on the art. So I had to grab that. I had to grab it just for that Jim Lee cover. As well as this random Wildcats 32, which kind of also caught my eye because of the black box down below here, like where the UPC would be. So I thought that was weird. I thought maybe it might have been like a toy thing or something like that. Turns out it's not. This is just a regular issue. I'm not sure why they just blacked out the box like that and did, didn't just leave it empty or or what but hey this is the cover so i was duped but it's still a jim lee cover and i'm not sure if i had this copy or not so i'm not too com gonna complain but sometimes you take a chance on something that catches your eye like that and it doesn't pay out like you hope it might so what are you gonna do which also kind of leads me into my uh, final you know final category which is usually oddities but i'm not going to call this stuff oddities so much as this is just general randomness so Gonna stick with my last few books, my random books, and uh, I grabbed two Wildcats fours, but they're both newsstands. I've been looking for trying to get this on camera properly, trying to get these uh, image newsstands where I can, because those early ones they're not that easy to find, especially you know in decent shape. So I was happy to grab those two. Another random thing to pick up: Transformers Universe One. Now, this is kind of like a source book of sorts. You can see it just kind of breaks down all of the uh, you know, individual Transformers in here. Yeah, kind of cool, kind of fun. I think it does all right on the secondary market if you want to flip it. But, yeah, just for a dollar, I thought it was a fun thing to flip through. I hear they're still moving forward with the Spawn movie, so I figured even though their first appearance is in Spawn 1, I figured I'd still grab Sam and Twitch 1 because I believe they're going to be the focus of this Spawn movie for the most part. So I figured it was, you know, no real harm in grabbing their, their individual first issue uh, for a dollar. You know, take a shot, right? Also, I grab these anytime I see them too for cheap just because they're not as easy to find as you might think, and a lot of people don't like flipping through them because they are the weird movie like prequel adaptations and whatnot so this avengers prelude one is not one of the ones that kind of spiked extra recently but i figured still for a dollar i was going to pick it up because you never know what weird little things might uh, you know catch people's eyes like you know first white wolf in actual comics bucky as white wolf in comics which i think is the second issue of uh, endgame or something different prelude but that's the point i'm talking about for a dollar, grab any of those weird movie MCU tie-ins because you never know what they might go back to or what might kind of heat up on this market these days. Now, again, sticking with my uh, last issue kind of thing, this is the last Marvel team-up for uh, Spider-Man and the X-Men. Pretty cool. Barry Windsor Smith cover. So, oh, I'm trying to move my finger off of there. Oh, I had to scoop it up. 
you know, for a buck. Still pretty cool. And then finally, I uh, lucked into this variant. I was looking for this for a little while now. This Amanda Connor uh, variant for Secret Avengers was a six. It's kind of cool. It's got like a little zombie vampire Ant-Man climbing up on our shoulder. Just kind of dig it. It does all right. Uh, but I was just happy to find this variant for cheap, you know? Because I was, again, looking to looking for it just for a decent price. So a dollar is the uh, best price I can basically ask for, right? And uh, that's it. Very light week for the most part for me. Uh, nothing super, super, you know, like hot. No super, super deep cuts or deep finds. Just some random stuff that I like to pick up. Hopefully you enjoy that, and hopefully you'll enjoy these videos and these articles. Please check out the article over on comicbookinvest.com, and please like, subscribe, and hit the alert button for my channel. And again, please check out that giveaway. Uh, I'm only running it for a week, and uh, we're going to see what happens and hopefully give away some uh, really great books to somebody who you know, is enjoying this content. So I'll see you guys next time.